Fernando Alonso in the 2022 season with the Alpine Formula One team, does he have a chance to win a race here again in Formula One? Now, I think Fernando is actually performing uh, better than some fans thought, at least for this 2021 season. He's had a couple of points finishes. I know podiums yet. And personally uh, speaking, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest Fernando fan, um, you know, from previous years. In fact, I have nothing against Fernando. But the point is, I would like to see him actually on the podium again in Formula One before he obviously would decide to retire. Um, Fernando Fernando still appears to have at least a couple of years that he can uh, race, and I don't see why not. He has proven he still has the race pace to perform well and, again, get into the points. But a podium and then even beyond that, an actual win on the podium, I think, is the main question. And that was some people's... Um, uh, hesitation to Fernando coming back into the sport and taking up a, a grid spot. Uh, people, uh, some fans have said, well, Fernando's not going to win again. He's not going to get on the podium. What's the point? He's taking a spot away from, you know, a young driver that could really, uh, you know, utilize that spot. And I understand those arguments and I understand those sentiments, but at the same time, considering who Fernando Alonso is, his experience, his knowledge in Formula One as a whole, what he's been able to bring to that Alpine team, which I think is why the Alpine has uh, seen itself in, in very favorable situations in certain races throughout the 2021 season. I think Fernando has been a huge part of helping that team, uh, whether or not that has been made publicly known or not. I think he has helped that team develop the car and is continuing to help them develop that car and improve it so that Alpine can maybe uh, be at the topper end of the midfield teams and uh, obviously continue to have consistent points finishes going into the 2022 season. So, I think Fernando, considering um, you know his uh, his legacy in Formula One and as a veteran of the sport, I think he does deserve to remain at Alpine at least for the next uh, two years to help um, that team continue to develop. Him and Esteban seem to be working as a team. They don't really seem to have had any uh, issues or any uh, you know uh, things that would cause friction between uh, the two of them. So I think it's working. And I, again, I would like to see Fernando on the podium uh, if that is possible. Now, of course, depending on circumstances in a race, it seems like that would probably be the only likely scenario of Fernando getting on a podium. Not to say he doesn't have the race pace, but I don't think that Alpine is at the point where just on raw pace alone, it would be able to put Fernando on the podium. Now, obviously, Hungary with Esteban Ocon is an exception, but again, that race was just kind of a, um, a weird race in general, and Esteban kind of lucked out and was able to stay consistent and keep Sebastian Vettel uh, behind him uh, to get that first uh, Formula One victory for himself. So I think a similar scenario would have to play out for Fernando Alonso in order for him to get back on the podium here in Formula One. But you never know. We've seen crazier things happen. So in the comment section below, you guys think Fernando will have the opportunity and the chance in the 2022 season to finish on the podium? Or do you think Fernando is simply here to help that team develop, um, help to improve that car? And uh, he'll just continue to kind of finish in the points, maybe have a couple of finishes outside of the points. And that'll kind of be um, the ending to his career in Formula One. I'm sure that's not the note he would want to go out on. But again, Again, uh, Formula One's been crazy. We've seen crazier things, and you never know what's going to happen on any given race day. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. She'll take it from there. So I always appreciate your love and support on the channel. If you are new, make sure to subscribe here to Racing Chemical for discussions on Formula One content in general. And I try to keep these up on a weekly basis. Appreciate all the love and support. I cannot say that enough. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for you guys today, but I will see you all later. Goodbye.